Hey there! So, it has been a while. For those who don't know and forgot that I existed, uh, I got hit by a jeep two months ago, it was on September 1st, and I broke both my arms and I had whiplash and a concussion. And I'm still dealing with some of those injuries, but I have reached the point where I'm able to move back into my own uh, apartment away from the friends that were gracious enough uh, to take care of me for a couple of months so now I can kind of get back to work and get back to talking with you guys which is awesome uh, my current health status since there have been a lot of you have been kind of you know checking in and seeing how I've been doing so uh, I did have surgery on my right arm you want to see the scar of course you want to see the scar okay so the surgery on my right arm which there you go. It's confusing to hold this up. So uh, there you go. I had like 17 stitches and 12 screws inside of it and two different titanium plates and all of that. So that's that arm and it's healing uh, pretty well and I don't fully have rotation back with it yet. I do still have some nerve damage that's minor but if I use the mouse a lot whilst I'm working it gets really cold and kind of like painfully cold as if you've been out playing in the snow as a child for too long and you just refuse to come in, kind of like that. And then on my other, on uh, my left arm, I broke the, the scaphoid bone in my wrist, which I've been told numerous times is the slowest bone in the human body to heal on account of the fact that it gets such poor blood circulation. So as of two days ago, I think, I got this new red cast. I had my old yellow one, you may recall if you've been following updates. This one is on for six weeks and then it should be hopefully um, fully healed. So that's that's the story with it. Um, the whiplash takes a while to, to heal because of those different muscles that got pulled really hard in the, in the sort of like push forward and then thrown back thing that happened whilst I was out on the street there in September. So that is the sort of health update, but really um, I'm doing pretty well as far as can be expected, I think. and. I'm thankful to be doing it as well as as well as I am. Not, not many people can say they got hit by a jeep, you know, and walked away so, somewhat, kind of, you know, it counts, it totally counts. For those who are wondering though, the plants are not dead. I know there's going to be some people in the comments who are going to say, oh, where are the plants? They grew, they didn't die. Mostly because I had a friend who came over here once a week and watered the plants for me, and as a result, they did not do their usual browning process which plants do in my presence instead they grew and they no longer fit inside the little cubes that i have back there i did not anticipate that the plants that i bought would actually grow because i don't usually see that happen as such i kind of bought them at the height that they needed to be without expecting that they would grow because again that doesn't usually happen in my presence so that's why they're gone i'm actually going to be introducing a few different I don't think you could call this a set, this is where I sit, but anyway, uh, a few changes in the stuff behind me in the next week or two weeks or so, so you'll probably see some pretty major changes back there. I've been thinking, you see, because I've had like two months to, to think about and plan different stuff. Whilst I have been gone from the video world, some of you may know I have been doing writing every, every once in a while. I would have, would have liked to have done it more often, but it was more cumbersome to use dictation software. Though I did end up, uh, a dear friend of mine sent me some fountain pens that require almost no pressure whatsoever. So even when I had no strength in my right arm, I'm right handed, uh, I could uh, write kind of badly, but I could read it on paper and then I could dictate it from there into the computer and that kind of worked. And so uh, some people who've subscribed to my Substack and everything have been getting those updates. And I just want to say thank you to all the people um, who've checked in and wanted to know how I was doing and kept me in prayer and so many of you contributed to the Give, Send, Go account that I had set up and that was just kind of amazing actually uh, and it relieved such a tremendous both financial and psychological but you know I just happened to worry about that instead of actually worrying about getting better and, and healing so thank you so much and also to those in my interpersonal life who just kind of stepped up and were there for me during this time so many people have been so good to me so thank you for that now to the regular watchers of this show i i do intend to be getting back to work now because i can uh which is great 
It'll probably be at a reduced schedule because everything takes way longer than it used to uh, on account of the fact that I have sort of half an arm. Because as I was saying, <laughs> I have my right arm in, in no cast, however, it doesn't do all the sort of twisty things that your arm does. Yes, I'm, I'm now envious of your arms. Uh, that's how this kind of thing works. But seriously, everything takes longer and is more cumbersome and is more tiring. So I can't keep up most likely the same schedule as before. And also when I use my mouse a lot and it gets really cold, like I was saying earlier, and that becomes painful. So there'll probably be fewer overlays. You know, there's pop-up things with text or um, whatever, different stuff. Few, there'll be less editing of videos uh, because of my, my current handicaps, but I'm working on it. I even got my occupational therapist built me this custom device so I can twist my arm by itself, by myself, so that I can get my mobility back without having a friend do it, which is what was happening before. So yeah, everything's working in the right direction. I'm also going to be releasing a video interview with uh, Father McTague, who's been on the show before, and I've been on his show before. He recently released a book, like really recently, uh, called Christendom Lost and Found, and so I'd like to have him on, because it's an awesome book, and I've had him on before, and we ended up having good conversations. They're well received by you guys. So that's either coming this week or next week at the absolute latest. Okay, uh, feel free to ask any other questions that I probably should have answered, but couldn't think of them. And <laughs> go ahead and ask those in the comments below, and I should now be able to reasonably respond to them. And again, I will be getting back to my regular videos, just probably a little fewer than I had going on before. Thank you again to everybody for all of your support, because it, it really, when you get all these different comments from different people around the country and different support in, in, in various different ways, it makes the burdens that you face feel a lot lighter. So thank you.